Hey everyone, welcome to the Mariel header. My name is Mariel and in this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite red lip colors. Now I've tried on many red lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip pencils, and I found the colors that I really love and they're the ones I like to put on for a special occasion. I'm not like an everyday red lipstick girl. It just, it's a lot of work. Now I've tried these colors on before and I've worn them for events, so they're long lasting. I love how they feel on the lips. So that's why I'm recommending them to you. These are all very bright colors, except for one, which I'm wearing right now. But um, they're very festive, very bright, very cheery, and I think they're perfect for like a holiday party. The inspiration for this video wasn't only the holidays and wanting to show off some of my favorite red lipstick colors, but it's also this. Poinsettias are just such a beautiful flower, and during the holidays, you'll see these pretty much everywhere. In case you didn't know, poinsettias are of Mexican origin. They're also known as a Mexican fire plant. Uh, in Spanish, we call them noche buenas. And yes, these are fake. But they don't they look super real? Like, they're just as velvety as the real ones. Yeah, if you don't know any of the history of the poinsettia flower or Mexican fire plant or noche buena, I suggest uh, you look it up. There is some folklore related to this flower. Like, you know, it's an Aztec princess flower. And there's another Christmas legend of a little girl, sometimes it's a boy, that goes to church on Christmas Eve to leave Jesus a birthday present, but they're so poor that they don't have anything to give them, so they leave some weeds, and the next day, they turn into this. So yeah, culturally relevant, important, gorgeous, good holiday inspiration. Now let's move on to the lipsticks. I almost forgot one last thing, as usual what I'm wearing on my face. I'm wearing the lashes I wore in my Star Wars video. They're the ones that came in this House of Lashes Sephora gift box. Um, I don't know the style, I need to look it up. Sorry guys. And on my eyes, I am wearing from Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette, Ashes, Crucifix, and Chalice. And in the inner corners, I am wearing Starlight, the most gorgeous silver you will ever have from Jouer's Skinny Dip palette. All right, the first lip color I am going to show you is one of my favorite lipsticks from Kat Von D. This is the shade Tijuana. Now, I was raised in Tijuana. I lived there most of my life. So I had to get it just because of the name. I wasn't too sure of how the shade was going to look on me because uh, I've always been very picky about reds. So this was just kind of like, oh, we'll see how it goes. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got it. It's a beautiful shade. Now, I don't have a liner from Kat Von D that matches the lipstick, but I do have this. ColourPop one. It is the Lippy Pencil in Frenchie. So that is Tijuana mixed with Frenchie by ColourPop. It just looks so beautiful on camera. I think it just brightens me up. I never had a red that was this orange based. I don't know. It just before I thought that would make me look kind of blotchy, but Man, every time I wear this, I just feel like I look so dazzling <laughs> in pictures. So I highly recommend this combo. Very pretty. Now on top of this, I'm going to layer on Kat Von D's Everlasting Glimmer Veil in Dazzle. These lip toppers are so reflective and gorgeous. And this one is slightly pink, but when you put it on top of this Tijuana lipstick, you get just additional dazzle in case you know, you got a matte look going on, but you want to have a sparkly lip, this will be perfect. Now, as you can see, this color really complements Tijuana. It just brings out the light in it and gives it a hint of sparkle. So this is a really good combo too. Now, I am trying to do my best to neutralize my lips between every color, but that's going to be a little bit difficult with uh, all of these red lipsticks. So bear with me. All right, the next color I'm going to try on is this Went Wild Mega Last, I always forget the name, Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick in number 930B. It is Missy and Fierce. This is also a really vibrant red and you can find this at, you know, several drugstores so it's really easy to find. And here we go. All right, now on camera, this color looks pretty close to Tijuana. It's very bright, but it's just a tad darker in person. It does look a little bit deeper. 
So if you're kind of scared of going like super bright red, you can try this one. This next color is New Americana by Lime Crime. I used to wear red velvet all of the time. It was actually one of the first red liquid lipsticks that I ever purchased. It was a beautiful red, but after a while I wanted to switch it up. After I started wearing Tijuana, I was like, you know what? I'm comfortable wearing brighter reds, so I had to have this one. And there is New Americana. You know, these reds are just like the happiest most fun reds, I think, out there. Now, just for fun and to show you like a trick you can do to switch up your red lipstick for the night, I'm grabbing uh, Kat's Everlasting Lip Liner in Por Vida which is a beautiful, more wine red lip liner. And I'm gonna do a little shading on my lip so you can see how you can change your lipstick. Now, as you can see, this gave my lip a little bit more dimension. It gave it a little more depth. All I did was outline almost all the way up to the cupid's bow. And I just filled in right here in the outer corner, just blended it a little bit towards the center. And you know what, just for fun, I'm gonna dab on a little bit of New Americana in the center to brighten it up even more. And there you go, with the brighter center, the lips look more dimensional. It even looks more velvety. Very cool. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found a red color that you would like to wear for the holidays. Write down in the comments below which lipstick you thought looked best on me or the one that you think will look best on you. I'll see you in the next video and until then, bye.